Glad to have you back. President Mamadou Buhari has opposed tenure elongation for national officials of the All Progressives Congress, APC, and called for elections of new leaders. Buhari said the decision is contrary to the APC's constitution, Amadjuan constitution, and will render any nomination invalid. Former chairman of Amuwa Dauphin Local Government Area, Ayodele Adewale, joins us now in the studio to share his thoughts on this development. Many thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. Let's start with the constitutionality that the president raised. It's obvious the article of uh, APC Constitution, Article 17, Article 19, Section 223 of the Nigerian 1999 Constitution is explicit on the issue of uh, having election after four years, periodic elections, that of the Constitution. Then, of course, the APC Constitution talking about not having a 10 or more than uh, four years and uh, if you have to renew again after election. Is the president right? The president is very correct because everybody swore to uphold the, uh, the constitution of the APC and that of Nigeria. And if anybody do something contrary to it, and if the matter is taken to court, definitely we're going to lose out. So the best thing is what he has done now, and putting everybody in the right perspective. Okay, he also gave a proviso yesterday that I'm not lording it over you. This is open for discussion. That in, in, within the APC ranks, you have SEN, you have people who are uh, knowledgeable. So it's, it's okay for, for the party to discuss it. But what do you make of it since the case is already in court? Well, uh, even if the case is in court, it doesn't mean that people cannot do what is right. And uh, for those who have taken the case to court, definitely they will have to withdraw their case from court as long as the process is... Is, 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 is well driven towards the right, right direction. And like the president has said, he has only, I mean, voiced his opinion on the constitution and warning, warning of the imminent danger if people go against what is enshrined in the APC constitution. All right, you've heard that some governors already kicked against it, some people even the spokesman said, okay, the elongation, the tunnel elongation for one year, according to them, that, okay, they, we are not saying occupy this position forever, but just act, that they are there in acting capacity for that one year, and that that will stand until there is a change. What, what's your take no on that? No matter how genuine their thoughts might be or can be, it cannot override what has been generally agreed and put in the Constitution. No matter how interesting their view is, it can't override the Constitution. The concern is supreme. And what I think they should do is all of them to put hands together for us to have an each free process, each free process that will give back to a new uh, elected uh, executive that will run the, the party. And the president has been very right. As Swayibola Ahmed Tunumbu are forewarned before now, are forewarned before now, and uh, some people decide not to, to listen to it. But if we continue to go in this manner, definitely the party will hit the rock. And for it not to hit the rock, the master marina had won. Now we now have the pilot telling you that if you want a smooth sail, if you want a smooth flight, the best we can do is to adhere to the principles and the provision of the constitution. From what you said, even before now, that uh, the, the, the party was pluralized in, in the sense that some people are for the elongation and some people are against the elongation. Uh, uh, Governor Rochas Okrocha, who is uh, the, the, the chairman of the Governor's uh, Forum of APC, said, okay, don't see this as uh, a winner take or, or as, a, as a vanquish or as a victor kind of situation. That no party or no section, as it were, has won really. Not, the president is not taking side with any particular faction. Is that it? The party is not polarized. The party is not polarized. You can have polar views. You can have polar views, but it's not polarized. And, uh, and that's the ethos of democracy, people having different views. No matter how your view is, there is a guiding instrument. And everybody must concur to the provision of the if instrument. If the party is not polarized, then what the president said yesterday should have just carried the day instead of having to discuss it. We are not having uh, a, monolithic, a monolithic system. You must allow people vent. And perhaps from the event, when we also go to another party congress, the constitution can be amended. It can be amended to take care of that view that has been raised. Okay. But as long as we are at present, there is no provision that can take care of their view. And the AP, uh, PDP wouldn't even agree with you on what you just said now that the party is not polarized. According to the PDP statement from the PDP, that what is happening in APC is a reflection of what is happening in terms of the administration of the country as we speak. Their view doesn't matter to the APC. 
it doesn't matter to us. What matters is that we do what we have sworn to do and as, as agreed to do in our constitution that is our guiding instrument. So whatever they say is just John Ketten trying to take people's uh, attention away from the ball. And it's, it's, it's part of politics. People can proper propaganda in order to diminish the, the other party. All right, we'll leave it there. But the president actually said yesterday that, okay, this loopholes have to be blocked. So the, the, the opposition yes, won't are, have are, any reason to, to, to loopholes, cash in on that. Of so then the, perhaps they are some kind of a force to reckon with, if, if, if you agree. No, 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 no. Don't, okay, don't, we'll don't misunderstand it the, okay, the, we'll the president when he, when he says things need to be you okay. know, ironed out properly right. for us to have a smoother uh, passage. Okay, many thanks for your time and contributions Thank you for on TVC News Hour.